So here we are in the Menthol Arvensis field, which is the beginning of the process for the sustainable menthol crystals. And as you can see here, the intercropping, so the Menthol Arvensis plants are planted alongside spring onions to maximise the space of the field. A good old buffalo dung, dried, ready to apply to the soil to give it good organic matter. So this yellow thing here is an insect trap that collects the small insects and flies that would normally eat the leaves. Um, however, it doesn't trap bees and the important pollinators that we love. They bring their plants in with the biomass. They can load one ton of biomass into this distillation vessel. The next process is to get steam to go um, through this biomass. And there's a steam generator which is a boiler, and that boiler sends a pipe of steam underneath of a biomass and sends steam through the biomass, which has been a little bit wetted, so there's even more steam generated, and then the essential oil flows out through the cotton through a series of condensers and then you have a, a combination of oil and water flowing out and in this separation unit we can separate the oil and water. Crude Arvensis oil is fractionally distilled in the essential oil factory and this window shows the liquid menthol dropping whilst low boilers evaporate away. Just drop a seed into the vat to start the crystallization process. At temperatures of 35 degrees, after 21 days, we finally get... Here with the completed menthol crystals, and I can definitely feel the menthol, it's burning my eyes. <laughs> it's pretty intense, but they look so cool when they're completed. This is so amazing that a product like this comes from plants in the fields that we were in earlier. It's so surreal.